Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Underflow and today we're going to be talking about a very weird TikTok and YouTuber. He's not only on those two platforms, but he's also on Instagram and Facebook. Probably this is a person that goes by the name of Dominic Schmidt, and he has a heavy reputation of stalking many, many YouTubers openly. He's just like a very odd goofball. So let's jump right into it. I'm just going to show you guys a nice little clip of what you should expect to see from the future contents of this video. Diaper. <laughs> Please, mommy, I took a poopy. <laughs> hey there, mommy. <laughs> Would you like to change my poopy diaper? <laughs> Please, mommy, I took a poopy. So, yeah, as you can see, very, very, very weird. Makes me rather uncomfortable to even sit through those two clips and they are pretty short but we have a lot of clips to go through the day we're gonna cover a bunch of weird things like him fully obsessing and stalking a bunch of youtubers some of which i've never even heard of but before we take a look at his obsession with other people whether it just be regular people and youtubers i think what we should do is take a look at some of his old content that being his 3 a.m challenges with his teddy bear now, I do need to mention this. Although this person has been on the internet since 2011, he is still active today, especially on TikTok and Facebook. Hi, folks. I decided to, uh, that I'm coming back to YouTube to do the 3 a.m. challenges. Oh, here's my teddy bear. Daddy, I love my teddy bear! I love teddy bear! I love my teddy bear! <laughs> I love my teddy bear. Teddy! I really love YouTube and like I really love 3 a.m. challenges. And like, so like at 3 a.m., I usually like to get possessed by a demonic spirit such as Satan or a demon. I also like to get kinky with my teddy bear around 3 a.m. And <clears throat> that's, how, and like getting kinky with my teddy bear at 3 a.m. very much is a challenge. Because Teddy, well, he likes to get kinky too. And we like to get kinky together. So yeah, right off the bat, we have some high-level intelligence with some very moving words from him already. I mean, I think he only said about 10 words in that entire video so far. A lot of it has just been screaming with saliva coming all out of his mouth and all over his face and stuff. And by some massive miracle, it somehow gets even weirder deeper into the video. So take a look at this as well. The of Cyprus, Helios teddy! I love to get kinky with my teddy bear. Teddy! Teddy! I love to get kinky with my teddy bear. Teddy! Wedgie, I hate being a nerd. I just want to be cool. Oh, Wedgie. Oh. And that video goes on for like another three minutes of a bunch of random things happening. I'm genuinely torn on multiple things just by watching and looking into this guy. I'm not entirely sure what to think of the entire situation. Because this guy is just so, so, so weird. But he's so weird to the point where I don't know if this is just one big troll or if he's genuinely just f weird. This person was actually recommended to me to look into from somebody from an Instagram DM, so thank you to you few people who did tell me to look into him. But now we need to go on to discuss him being very obsessive with multiple different YouTubers for some reason. When Dominic obsesses, he obsesses pretty hard, making continuous like 8-6 to six minute length of long videos about that same exact person, constantly talking about them, constantly talking about finding out their information. He even mentions on one of the YouTubers he's obsessing's videos he made, he says he was looking for their information all night long and even mentions the color of their house. When it comes to Dominic obsessing, it seems like there's a very clear pattern of him only obsessing over like commentary type YouTubers. So now let's take a nice long look at Dominic's obsession with a YouTuber by the name of DJ Cook. Hey there, DJ Cook. Uh, I recently seen you comment on one of my videos, and um, I just wanted to let you know that you're really cute. Mmm, you're my favorite YouTuber, DJ Cook. 
Do I look pretty in my tutu, DJ Cock? Do I look pretty in my tutu? <laughs> I'm gonna dance for you in my tutu, DJ Cock. So anyways, Daddy, um, I was wondering if you'd like to give me a ride in your Tesla. Would Daddy like to give me a ride in his Tesla? Please, Daddy DJ Cook. Delta! 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 Mm, DJ Cook. Come on, I love a guy that drives a Tesla. How about giving me a ride in it, DJ Cook? Come on, you're my favorite YouTuber, DJ Cook. I've been stalking you on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok, just watching all your videos. Mmm, DJ Cook. I know you want me, Daddy. Mmm, I know you want me, DJ Cook. Come on, Daddy. Mmm. Come on, you want to take me on a date, DJ Cook YT? Come on! DJ Cook, you're my favorite YouTuber. Do I look pretty in my new dress, DJ Cook YT? I bought it for you. Do I look pretty in it? Would you take me on a date in this cute outfit, DJ Cook? Come on, Daddy. Do you like this outfit? Do I look pretty? I know DJ Cook YT wants to take me out on a date. I'm not going to make you guys sit through any more of that video alone because I feel like I showed not enough, but at the same time I showed you guys far more than you should have seen. But believe it or not, I chopped that video up quite a bit to show you just those clips alone, but even without it being chopped, there would still be around 4-5 to five more minutes worth of footage for you to watch. I'm going to show you guys another video he made after that previous video I just showed you calling out DJ Cook again, just showing his absolute obsessiveness over him. Like, I'm genuinely torn when I'm recording this video. I still don't know what to think. At one hand, I'm thinking that this is just a person who's using any means possible to get the smallest amount of clout on the internet. But on the other hand, I'm thinking this guy is a massive creep and weirdo. Watching this guy's videos that he makes to these YouTubers, or really just anybody, or any video he makes in general, is kind of like finding lost footage. It's, it's genuinely some kind of unnerving, but also stuff that makes you want to kind of laugh at him as well. I don't really know exactly what to think of him, but I'm going to show you guys another video right now. Hey there, DJ Cock. How are you? Hi, Daddy. Ah, DJ Cock! DJ Cock! You're my favorite YouTuber! <laughs> DJ Cook, I'm still waiting for you to respond to my messages. It's been months and you still haven't opened up my messages for me messaging you every single day. Like, can you please open my messages and respond? I am sick of not getting attention from you. Give me attention, DJ Cook. Give me attention. DJ Cook, I know that you have a white house. And I'm going to be flying down to see you so we can finally get married together and, and ha you know, have a relationship. Because I know that you love me and, like, I just think you're just shy to answer my messages. So once you answer my messages, we can finally go on our date. But I do have a plane ticket scheduled to go see you because I know that you live in a white house. White is one of my favorite colors. And I just can't wait. We're going to have so much fun, DJ Cook. We're going to we're going to go to Applebee's. DJ Cook! DJ Cook! I love DJ Cook! His obsession and love for DJ Cook really shows through the video, especially whenever he says that they're going to go to Applebee's. I don't really know a way to show your appreciation any more than to go to an Applebee's. But then again, I've never been to an Applebee's in my life, and you know, that's probably the best choice to make here. Now, after making about three videos, about six to eight minutes long about DJ Cook, he randomly uploaded a video right after titled, I can't talk about this YouTuber anymore. Now, before I go on to show you guys the video of him talking about how he can't talk about a YouTuber anymore, I have a question for every single one of you still watching. What would be your opinion of me making a video on terrible Sigma males on YouTube? Because as of recently, it's been spreading like a wildfire. Every five scrolls or five minutes scrolling, I will see someone talking about what it's like to be a Sigma, or Sigma versus Alpha, or Alpha versus Beta. It's just like a really, really terrible trend 
trend that's been going on for the past like two years now about this whole sigma and alpha male thing so what would be your opinion about me making a video and deep diving into that very very cringy cesspool but now i'm going to show you guys that video he made about not being able to talk about a certain youtuber anymore hi guys i got bad news so like well where do i start with this i'm not allowed to talk about a certain youtuber anymore Okay, so recently I got in, like, a lot of big trouble because, and, like, I was being creepy, and I was stalking this certain YouTuber just because I found him hot. So recently the cops came to my house, and they told me to stop stalking people. Now, here's the thing. I enjoy stalking people. And basically I was trying to, like, you know, stalk his information and go to his house and stuff like that. You know, normal stalking. And basically, like, the cops were telling me that I can't be harassing this YouTuber, I can't be stalking him and all this. Like, it just sucks, okay? So what if I like to stalk him? And, like, try to find out his information? Like, it's just not fair. I can't even go to Applebee's with him now. He's got at least, like, two Applebee's by his house. Because I was checking, like, his address and all that and stalking his information. I was like, whoa, he doesn't have just one Applebee's, he has two. And now I can't even go to Applebee's with him. One of my favorite restaurants. I don't even have an Applebee's near me. It closed down five years ago. Just sucks! And I kept wondering on why he wasn't answering my text messages. I kept making fake numbers to try and get his attention and get him to date me. I kept making numbers on Text Me and the Text Now app. And he just would not answer them. And like, I probably made about, I'd say, 300 fake numbers throughout the past three, four weeks to try and get his attention. And he didn't answer to any of the numbers. And like, whenever I try to message him on my iPhone, it doesn't even go to delivered, which means he probably blocked me. Oh, shucks, guys. I can't innocently, you know, stalk this guy anymore. I can't go out of my way to harass this guy and, you know, annoy the shit out of him online and be an absolute creep. Oh, damn. I can't do that anymore. But see, it's a video like that one where I think it's like, okay, this has to be some S-tier level satire of some sort. But then there's so many other videos that just make it seem like it's not. Because after looking into so many people online and everything that you see, you'd think it's satire. Like, nobody would actually go ahead and do that, but then people would, would actually go ahead and do that. So you can't really ever be sure about the whole satire, like, fucking, you know, he's actually doing this type of stuff thing. Especially how this guy is like always being a constant creep on apps like Facebook. He'll like always reply to like random women and just constantly saying stuff like, you know, dump your boyfriend for me or, you know, leave your boyfriend for me. I'm so much better and stuff like that. It's just very odd and creepy and off-putting. But that is going to be it for today's video. If you have any recommendations for people I should look into or topics I should discuss, text me on Instagram. I'm sure I'll get back to it. I usually get back to everybody. But without further ado, thank you all for watching today's video. I will see you guys all in the next video. Have a great day or night, depending on the time of day that you do watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. See ya.